Uh, hi, everybody. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've learned about teaching with technology. Uh, the first thing I'd like to reflect on is the fact that quite often less is actually more. Um, I know Mark often shares about this idea of KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Or if you go to other kind of philosophers like Bruce Lee, uh, they talk about simplicity as being the key to brilliance. So I think that's a real great um, hallmark of using technology is just get, get brilliant at using one or two tools, squeeze yeah. all of the juice out of those tools, um, so that you know you're maximizing your opportunities before you start adding more things into your either curriculum or, or your your you know your technology toolkit as it were i think a caveat for that as well though is context is king and you know your students best much like uh, tom shared about there and how you know it's it, the expert in the room is the teacher so you are the best person to be um, following exactly what's been identified by the Education Endowment Foundation, it's the quality of teaching. That's the single most important thing that makes the biggest difference. So it's not necessarily what you do, it's how you do it that's more important. So the first thing I'd like to think about, certainly that I've been thinking and reflecting on and trying to act on in my, my last year, is how often do we use our voice? I know that we give students loads of opportunity to do this, but do we maximize our own voice? Certainly when it comes to using technology, you know, let your voice work for you. And something that's been one of my biggest gains, um, certainly in the last nine months, if not before, is simply using audio feedback. Whether you work in a, a Microsoft ecosystem uh, and you use OneNote, you know, you can say so much more, much richer quality of information with a short 30 second audio note than you could do um, writing out over four or five minutes. If you work in a Google ecosystem, um, Moat is a fantastic tool that enables you to do exactly just that. So, you know, are you making the most of the tool that you have? So, you know, I would urge people to reduce their workload but provide richer information to the students by using their own voice as much as possible. You know, and it can be a simple task like this. You know, this is just a little retrieval task um, at the end of a section that I, of having taught the students. Um, I got them to um, self self mark that piece of work, provide them with a mark scheme, and then just went in and left them a, a thirty second audio clip um, just to comment on some of the areas that that they could improve on and it, it you know it makes such a big difference for the students to be able to hear you um i think and, and improve their learning um through that that purposeful use of technology the second thing i'd like to think about is just being present you know technology is a utility after all um it's not the goal to be uh, using technology we've got to remind ourselves that it is actually a utility and it's about fostering those connections, I think, for me, and enabling students to connect and collaborate. Um, and after all, you know, education is, is a relationship um, workplace. You know, it's all about building connections and fostering those relationships. And technology can be a brilliant driver for that. Um, but I also think at the same time, it's a great tool to gauge where everybody's at. You know, and, and whether you want to look at it from a mindful perspective or a well-being perspective, you know, you can use it as such a rich resource to gauge where everybody's at, whether it's the temperature of learning or um, anonymously identify if people are, are struggling or not within the classroom. So I do think that it can be a fantastic tool for that. Um, and gain insights into not just the academic side, but also the pastoral side of education. And, you know, are we getting all of the juice out of the squeeze um, from technology when it comes to the pastoral side of our schools? I think something else that it's fantastic for, and this is a you know prime case study for this, is leveraging your network. It's about, you know, um, being able to connect with others that are in the same boat. And I think that's massively important. You know, if we go back to what Tom said about, um, you know, seeking support from others in the school, technology is such a brilliant driver for that, not only within our own schools, but globally across the world. You know, if you look at this little piece of research that came out, uh, I think it was in August, from ISC Research, uh, the impact of, of COVID in schools, it's no surprise then at the very bottom that, what's been most beneficial for teachers during distance learning is actually just the support from other teachers in the school community. Um, and I think technology can play a fantastic role in, in 
in that in terms of micro and macro scales um, by breaking down those walls between uh, the geographical distances amongst us because after all we're all in it together we've all got the same mission which is to improve outcomes for students in their education and give them the best that we can and um, you know another side to this is something that mark and i run which is similar to this um, you know connecting with my own network and mark's assisting me with that is, is a sister show that uh, we work on out here in the middle east learn live uae and we've had I think it's about 60 people now over the course of sort of six months um, come and share their experiences, which has been fantastic and helped to upskill others um, in what can be quite a competitive marketplace in this particular context here. So it's, it's you know, leveraging your network so that you can make the best possible decisions is hugely important. And then the final thing is, is, is a pedagogy thing, actually. If you look at um, what a lot of the research says, um, it, talking about sort of online learning or using technology to teach, if you look at these five suggestions, they're actually just the hallmarks of effective teaching and learning. If you look at presenting the information in small chunks or, or modelling, providing worked examples for students and, and checking for understanding and feedback along with collaboration, it's, that's just what good teaching and learning looks like, isn't it? And technology can be a fantastic driver to help facilitate um, lots of these um, you know, strategies for the classroom. So I think um, that's the, my takeaways.